Hello, everyone's everyone. I am here for my review of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, season 10, episode 14. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and also the reactions. If you return, you one of my people, oh, welcome back. So, we are back, y'all, after 10 months. I don't know why they broken them, the season up like that, but here we are. We do have a comment from 10 months ago. Yes. It's from Malia. Hey, boo. It says, great combination. I love when you say uh, Pan Pandora. You know, because, you know, you can't really be saying, like, words that sound like the panorama. Because you don't want, you know, nothing to happen to your videos. So, we do panorama over here. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. But, like, some of this stuff that was going on, I completely forgot because it's been during their year. I'm like, I understand when they... um breakup shows like okay that's why wise it was on for a little bit of a minute okay we're gonna break that in half we're gonna bring back love hip hop um love and hip hop atlanta and love hip hop miami but like breaking it up for like 10 months it's like child by then the people in real life even though it we getting things normally that going with 10 months after it happened and then we getting stuff like two years later people didn't had a baby divorced and got with somebody else and pregnant again by the time while we come back but anyways this season it seems like it's gonna be centering on like jock and his relationship and who he's been hunting on or who has been alleged to be hunting on jock so the um the group they are out and rennie rucci rennie rucci is performing and sierra has been tasked with you know that's her friend she met her on IG. I want you to come do some stuff with me. Now they friends. I want you to officially bring you into the group. Because you was on last season. But you know, you wasn't with the group for real, for real. So now we're, you're welcoming in her into the group. She's still working on her music. She's still being a mama. And her fiance is still facing five years in prison. And my thing is, what did he do? Because it, it escapes my mind what he did to land himself in the penitentiary system because it has anything to do with fraud or stealing you flashing them rings on the television is not good because they're gonna be like oh snap you oh that's oh he gave you that ring that ring was bought by money that was not properly attained you don't you have to give us that you don't have to give us that mm -hmm. hand them over hand them over i was like mm-hmm Watch yourself, girl. Sierra is a hurt man whose name escapes me because it has been 10 months and it was going by too fast on the screen for me to catch up. They are building their dream home together. Now, I understand if, like, okay, me and this dude have been together for a good little while, and we're getting the house because we're getting married. We he's proposed to me. We've been together. We know each other. But it was like a year ago that you was with BK, and you was with him for several years, and you hopped new with this new dude, and now y'all putting y'all names on properties and you know things like that. I don't think that's such a good idea because it looks like you don't even want to be with him no more because he's getting on your nerves. The way he does things and the way you do things are different. Like, this is something you should have thought about before y'all decided, oh, we so in love. This man, you know, treats me so much better than the people I've been with in the past. And you doggone it looking through rose colored glasses. And now you realizing, oh, snap. He be getting on my nerves. I don't know if I want to be here. But now you were stuck because y'all have property together. Now this whole us bought property to get together. It may be just a whole storyline in itself. Because when I tell you, these people on these reality shows, they be buying houses so much. It is ridiculous. 
Now we're moving over there to Jock and Kendrick. They have been trying to get married for the past two years. They wanted a destination wedding in St. Lucia. But, you know, Miss Rona and her cousins popped up. So that put things behind. Now let's, we're supposed to be getting married in within a few weeks. He doesn't have her wedding dress. Jock and the groomsmen, they don't have their suits. She wants Jock's twin daughters to be the flower girls, but they mama is not answering the phone. And y'all know seeing that she looks, she seems like she is still in love with Jock. And she don't want her girls to be participating in no wedding that is Jock's, that does not involve her. That's that's the kind of feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, so they, they got a lot going on over there with Jock and Cena. Not Jock and Cena, see, look at me. Jock and Kendra. But it seems like they've been having a lot going on their entire relationship. Now we're moving over to Spice. I like Spice, y'all, because she's like, yes, I'm going to come over here on this show. I'm going to, you know, participate in some of the foolishness, but you best believe you're going to see me working. Yes, ma'am, I'm going to be doing videos. I'm going to be doing little small concerts. You're you going to be knowing that Spice is out here working. And now she's working with Africa, uh, Mama Africa. And her friend has, has submitted her to the Grammys. Like, this is something new from, like, a Jamaican dance hall queen. I think she said, now, don't get me wrong with the phrase she said. Because even though my closed caption was on spice talk too fast for me to get every word correct so i do apologize for that it's just she was she, she her accent and then the speed in which she talks she was she was going too fast for me she was but i was like spice she gonna keep her name out there she sure is now sierra she is surprised that the dude that she rushed into and buying the house with is getting on her nerves like, they bought this house, they decorating this house, but I can't stand you right now because I want this room because it's bigger. It's going to be my clam room for me to get my makeup done, my hair done, my nails done, my feet done. I need all this. I have a whole glam team that comes over and get me together. Now, y'all, I say this in the most respectful way because I like Sierra, but, like, whatever she's doing to her face, she is leaning over there to the Little Kim area, and I don't like that. It, I don't know if it is fillers. I don't know if it's makeup. I don't know what it is, but whatever she's doing, I want her to stop. Because when I looked at her, I was like, yeah, she is, is leaning into the Little Kim phase, and I don't want that for her. I don't. It's like... On top of that, she's stressing. He wanted the room for his gym. She wanted for her glam room. She got on top of that, her mama's drinking, and she don't know why her mama's drinking. Um, she's not talking to her sisters. Her business is going up and down, left and right, and in a circle. It's just like a lot going on, and then I can't even have peace in my own home, even though we have not moved in together. She said, like, you getting on my nerves, and you, like, want to put your foot down on things, and that's not how I want to live. That's how I've never lived. So that's why she be going over there to stay with her mama. But then she get over to her mama's house and mama over there drinking all the time. It's like, I'm trying to escape some stress from one place. I'll go to a stress from somewhere else. Oh, I don't know what that was, but okay. Spice was invited to Jock and Kendra's wedding, but now she's not sure she, you know, she's unsure because she found out from a friend that this friend has alleged to be in a relationship of some sort with Jock for the past 14 years. Now I'm like, this is when like timelines and I'm trying to figure out how old children are. And I was like, if that was the case, he she's been there since the twins and several other because jock got like what eight nine kids and the oldest may be like 22 years old so that means if this is true that this lady was with jock when he was with carly and cheating on carly with you know um 
jack of all uh, jill of all trade home girl she was you know the realtor she was the chauffeur she was the chef you know the one that got into it with carly over jock yeah she was there between that with the youngest twin a sprinkler some other the kids when jock was with kendra i'm like so you just been what waiting in the background for like all these years And this has never come up? I don't know. Now, she kind of like, okay, that means that this is your friend, and you must have known that your friend was over there hunch alleged to be over there hunching with Jock all these years. Because ain't no way your friend, you know your friend, and your friend know you know Jock, your friend ain't said that. Even if you did know Jock, your friend would be like, girl, guess who I'm hunching on? And I was like, she kind of, kind of got poor. Like, this your best good friend. And your best good friend is telling you that she, it's, she, she is saying that she had been hunting on Jack for all these years. And you just now found out? Hmm. So, this part of it was supposed to be for spies. Turned into who's sleeping with Jock and how long have you been sleeping with Jock? We is supposed to be celebrating Spice working with Mama Africa. We supposed to be celebrating Spice because, you know, her friend put her in nominations to get a Grammy. This is supposed to be about Spice. But now it's okay, Carly, you used to hunch on Jock, right? Well, she said she used to hunch on Jock too. So y'all compare notes. So, you know, Carly, she has to, you know, let it be known that she went to Jock's, you know, bachelor party and she hopped at the cake. Here go Kirk in the background. And he grabbed on her booty. First of all, Kirk, why are you here? This is a woman's party. Yes, it is at y'all restaurant, but you know, you didn't have to die gonna put your two cents in. So now everybody looking like, oh, for real, for real? And Carly, yeah. And he told me, am I coming back? Mm hmm. See, I'm trying to be friends with Kendra, but like, we know Jock is not ready to be married. And then somehow, Carly makes this situation about her and how I can't believe that Jock was out here doing these things while I was with Jock. I'm like, how you make this about you? Ma'am. Child, this episode was just foolishness. And I, I can just see this whole season about 50, 11 more women going to pop out. Well, I, too, have been in some type of relationship with Jock. Even though none of this has happened. Jock been on the show since what, season two, three, four. Jock been on here for a good little minute. And yes, he has got caught several situations in the teaching of what it is. But like, your name has never come up. And you seem to have been around the longest. Allegedly. But y'all, that was a gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you were new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So my beautiful face puts up a video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. You can come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.